Oof, my hair looks rough. I guess that's how we shower before doing this. Out of the shower, tried to record this video three times and people keep calling me. Ah! So a long time ago, my cousin told me this idea about freedom of speech. It's to protect the things that you don't want to hear and it's to protect the things that you don't like. Um, if everybody was saying everything that everyone wanted to hear, you know, why would it need to be protected? You know, it's great to live in a place where we can post articles and pictures and things uh, about our government leaders and officials and, and powerful famous people and not suffer the consequences of being arrested, being thrown in jail, having horrible things happen to us like that. But at the same time, there's much, as you called, as you said it, darker, deeper, horrible stuff that claims freedom of speech as well. And at what point does that become dangerous? Usually that is only dangerous when it's started to be acted on, unfortunately. If, if every single person that looked or talked about... When I'm angry and I, and I vent, I usually vent it in violent phrases and angry phrases like most people do, like, oh, I'm going to kill this person or oh, I'm going to do this. And if every single person that expressed themselves like that were, were, were charged or were, were reprimanded in some way, like, how many people wouldn't be, like, we think the jails are overpopulated now, imagine it then. You know, a lot of times and a lot of people, they just want to vent words, and, and as you said, these internet circle jerks are, while they're, they're kind of bad because they're stroking that ego, they're, they're giving, giving credit and accolades to somebody who has these negative feelings. Um, at the same time, you know, they're, it's just words and they're just venting and it's painful and it's hard and it sucks because that's what people do. People are mean, people are horrible, nasty, violent creatures. Thankfully, a lot of times people just talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk. You know, I guess I live in this naive little world where I believe that the proper authorities and proper officials have these people on surveillance, or they do monitor these sites despite their best efforts to try to remain hidden. And that, that even though they think they're being anonymous, you know, somebody still is keeping an eye on them to see when the actions go too far, when the words go too far, sorry, when the words go too far that lead into actions. My, my, one of my church members asked me, what are you going to do when you preach about homosexuals and somebody attacks you for hate speech? I told him, hopefully I never have to preach about homosexuality because that's not an issue that you just openly proclaim. That's not an issue that you just throw out against and towards at everybody. You know, that's, that's, that's something that you have as a personal discussion with somebody <clears throat> that you've journeyed with, that you've traveled with, that you've gone through spiritual growth with. And if they want to bring it up and address it to me, then I will, and I will talk to them about it and, and whatnot. And hopefully that won't be misconstrued as me trying to get them to change or, or condemning them in some way or another. But I guess the simple answer, when does freedom of speech go too far, is when it becomes acted on and when people are targeting specific individuals. Like we see people bullying and cyberbullying and cyberstalking and all this other stuff. You know, your, your freedom of speech isn't there to limit somebody else's freedom of life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. You know, you can't use your freedom to exclude somebody else's freedoms. So usually when somebody else's freedoms are being chopped off, um, that's when it typically goes too far in my mind's eye. Had a great birthday. It was awesome shooting some videos and, and hanging out with Paulo. It was cool that we got to record that video for you. Hopefully you have a good Christmas. I'll just be down here on my little island, hanging out, not really doing much, kind of blew all my vacation time already. So have a good break, and yeah, I guess see you next year.